All right, so now we have a pretty good working sample here. Um, we want to basically get rid of a lot of this because it's just so much spaghetti. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a sub patcher and we're going to call, we'll put our, um, let's see, let's just put everything um, into it. We'll just put this, call this our samplers. And we're going to basically do all of this here. Cut that. Copy. Cut. Paste. <coughs> and notice now, um, since we have our input coming from our keyboards, we don't need to have anything coming into our sub patcher, but we do need our output. So we need to make a new object called an outlet. Um, should be universal. All right, and what this did was now it made an outlet of our sub patcher, outlet one. And if I duplicate it by command D, notice how it enumerates it. And as I move them around, it changes the order. So now this is corresponding to outlet one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so this is a way to clean up your patches, have your some of your logic in here. I don't know. You can put these anywhere. Doesn't really matter. Okay, and now it should work. Okay, now let's say you wanted though this value to see this value so you knew what you were getting. We're going to use another object called a send. Okay, and send basically sends data to its um, appropriate receive. So you need to give it a name. We're going to call this feed. So we take the output of that number box and send it to speed. I'm just going to kind of put it down here. You can put it anywhere. And then what we're going to do is receive speed here. So there's our, our value from our slider being passed from here to our send. So you're sending it to the, basically you're sending it to a, a um, pointer called speed. And then that gets picked up by the receive called speed. And subsequently you can see the values here, which is kind of nice. All right. Cool. All right, now we're gonna add in one new object called Freak shift. And what does freak shift do? Well, the cool thing about freak shift is it's a, a really simple way to bend your pitch. So not only are we bending pitch using our, our speed, you can do it with this object too. All right. So <coughs> we're going to use the bend um, controller, which is that little wheel oops on the left side of your control uh, of your um, MIDI controller so just do this and then play with one of those two wheels and you'll see which one it is okay so you'll notice that bend defaults to 64 so what bends up goes to 127 and bends down goes to 0 Freak shift does not have those values. It's if it's negative, it shifts it down. If it's positive, it shifts it up. So we need to scale that too. So what we're going to do is basically subtract 64. And that's now going to give us positive and negative. Then we're going to multiply it by, I don't know, four. And remember, we have to have these stupid dots. OK. 
okay. Now we should get values that work for our frequency shifter. Yeah, those look, those look good. All right, so we can add another layer to our very simple um, patcher. And now, again, this looks really bad. So let's put that into a um, sub patcher. And this one's easy. We're just going to do an outlet. All right, so now we have our pitch bend, we have our speed. So let's get these looking all nice. And remember, this is just simply the, the value. It's already being all dealt with up here. And this is actually our MIDI logic and our, our little bit of scaling. And it's coming out of the outlet that we traded using this little object called outlet. And then that gets into the pitch um, or the amount of frequency shifting of our object called freak shift. All right, so let's try to freak it out. So here, we'll play it. Uh, So there you go. We have inlets, outlets, sends, receives. We have sub patchers. Some new objects called groove. We have a new MIDI object called bend in. We have freak shift, which is a really cool way to shift your frequency. And we have all of this now in a very simple patch that now if you were to send this to somebody, it would be really easy to just add some comments right here. And boom, you have yourself a little plug-in like thing that you can save and use forever and ever. Awesome.